Welcome back guys to Trails in the Sky, where last episode we headed to the mayor's residence to stall him, finding him dining with Duke von Auslis in an attempt to sell him a condo. Confronted with his crimes, however, he sprang a trap upon us as two kept monsters attacked. With the mayor having managed to make an escape, Chloe's message has fortunately brought the royal guard to intercept as we managed to bring him to justice and end chapter 2. So, we now begin chapter 3, the Black Ormond, as our party heads towards the Zeiss region. With a gat already off chasing the Black Guard mercenary, we're soon to say farewell to Chloe as well. Well, those actual chickens give a fair whack of experience, don't they? Didn't see me? Good for me. Alright, we are here and ready to use it. So I'm gonna go all out and just knocking some of these guys down a little bit. Because when we use it, it's on us. Oh, what? Not enough. Well, let's use our S-Craft and see what it does. Lichtgleis. Of course, it does nothing, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> right, should I go for here? Somehow, I think she won't reach. So we better take out Deaf Chicken. Alright. S Craft is my favorite thing. I love it so much. Alright. I guess I use an art, but I don't have fire. I'm guessing they aren't weak to water after all. I'll get closer. Yeah, it does even better at maximum HP, that's for sure. That is stated, that is said. Ah, oh, not enough! It goes 50% of, uh... It, well, it gives him defense buff too. Which is pretty damn good! Can't reach. I will be able to finish off the two of them now. There. Are you happy? You seen what you want to see? Alright, we're good to go. I always like the character with a defensive thing like that though. That's the kind of like an oh crap button that you just kind of pull off quickly. And just hope for the best. Well you don't hope for the best of that, it's more or less being controlled in your hands, but Which way am I going? Field Tower. Oh, I'm gonna pop up there actually. Just to enter and see if there's any voices again. Just because I'm wondering if Professor uh, Alba has decided to go check it out because he said he was going there. There's no voices. I'm guessing there's no special thing. Emergency wind burn. It would be at 200 CP. Getting that big defense buff as well. Depends how exactly long it lasts for. That's for sure. Do 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 do. I mean, S-Break itself is just a... a weird thing. Let's get moving. Go, 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 go! Can't change the map. Now, well, she's seeing us off at Air Letton. Which itself interests me that she's going this far. We find Mr... Oh, no! Death Chickens! Oh my god, what if they both hit with Deaf Chicken attacks? Deaf Chickens! Run! Yeah, you don't want to be surprised attacked by Deaf Chickens. You definitely don't. No, sir. I'm gonna have a salubrious oatmeal, which is probably a waste. And then we come back for our revenge. Come here, Death Chicken. I'm not taking that line down. I killed her. How could you? <laughs> Evil. <laughs> A Sepif giving Death Chickens, though. Maybe we can forgive them for the Sepif side of things. <laughs> Why'd you miss? Now I can't kill them in time. They might death chicken me. Yeah. What? Oh no! 
I can't reach! Oh no! They want to kill Estelle! Where did they get to go? They can't go four times in a row! You can't just go four times in a row! That's cheating! I mean, I went six times in a row, but that's not the point. She can attack Estelle now, ready? Why are you hate Estelle? What do you have against her? Living death chickens. I can't heal you in time. Can I kill this guy? I doubt it, actually. See! Save her! That's not enough! 2 HP! Oh! She's saved! She's still alive! Kill the chicken! I hate this road! That's that then. Let's move out! Was revenge worth it? No. Revenge was not. None of that was worth it in the end. <laughs> it's a waste of items. That's what I put it as. Alright, eat a wine steamed egg, Stel. At least you'll learn me another recipe. We discovered a new recipe. Was it worth it in the end? No. I made it out of letting. Somehow alive. I've been here before, but this is a nice spot. The view here is breathtaking. Certainly doesn't feel like a checkpoint, that's for sure. Actually, I hear that a lot of visitors come here to see the waterfall. Really? We're in sure a lot of nice places, huh? I can understand why the Duke would want to live here. Agreed. But I think Roland is also a nice, relaxing place to live. Oh, you've been to Roland? Yes, I've been to all five of the great cities. Oh, that's right, it's nice as up ahead. You'll be surprised how charming it is. Hmm? Really? Sounds like we're in for some fun. Alright, why don't we go get the paperwork started then? Okay. She's sticking with us. That I find interesting. For now. Just rest spot the benches. It's not bad. Hey, welcome to the LM checkpoint. If you want to get set up to go through, head to the counter inside. I will. I'll do just that. Good afternoon. How might I be of assistance? We were wondering what had to be done to obtain permission to enter Zeiss. Okay then, step right up. I'll take care of you. Be aware though that once these procedures have begun, you will not be allowed to leave the checkpoint. Are you okay with that? Hmm, on second thought. I'll just know when you change your mind. There's nothing for me to do. There shouldn't be anyway. I just want to see what I can buy here. So I've learnt both of these. None of them are the HP healing stuff. Damn. I think I should be fine being stuck here now. Alright. Let's obtain permission then. It's basically saying this region is done so. Maybe. Yeah, go ahead, please. And please start by signing these documents. Estelle and Joshua sign their names to the documents. Alright, everything looks to be in order. Is the young lady there not joining you? I only came to see them off. Ah, very well then. You'll be able to accompany them as far as the mouth of the Caldia Tunnel. Thank you very much. What's the Caldia Tunnel? It's the main road that joins this checkpoint to Zeiss. The path is a long tunnel that passes directly through Caldia Hill. Wow, an underground road. That'll definitely be a first for me too. Your friend may come to you as far as the entrance of the Caldia Tunnel. Please take care after you pass this point. I'll try. I best I better rest considering what happened a little bit ago. Right. What are we doing next? Rested all good. We're all good for that. 
You're welcome. This is Nitin, specifically Travelers. If you need me for anything, just give me a shout. Right, where are we going then? Well, up top, I know, but I just want to check everything else is going on. Ah, hello again. I was in your depth for your actions when his grace arrived. Thanks to you, he's not causing any more trouble for the other customers. Well, it's enough doubt, so I'll be able to cooperate with the Bracer Guild in the future. If anything else comes up, I hope you'll be willing to help. I wonder if I should have been able to find something, like, in that hoover before. Like, any items that I have to give to people in the end. That I did not get. I did not find, anyway. Wow, this is amazing! Hmm. So the waterfall comes from a man-made river. I think it's called the Lots Waterway. It was made a very long time ago. Yes, yeah, so it's linked directly to the Valeria Lakeshore. Haha! <laughs> Pretty impressive, given that they did it without any ornaments to help. So what's that over there? That's the entrance of the tunnel, I think. Yeah. So I guess this is a goodbye. Yes. So you're going to be travelling around the kingdom, right? We might be able to meet again in Gransel. Really? I'll be going back there when the Queen's birthday celebration starts. Some of my relatives will be there, so I have to join them. That's just a month away, isn't it? I think we may actually be in Gransel around that time. So then, once you're done with your family stuff, contact the Gransel Build branch. If you do, we can try to meet up. I certainly will. I tell Joshua, I can't thank you enough. We'll never forget everything you've done for me. Come on, don't be so formal. We need debt as well, for many reasons. I say we're pretty even. What a thing to say. When, when we confronted the mayor, I said some terrible things. You care for no one but yourself. But I was no different. Huh? I've been running away from the reality of my own situation for a while now. To the orphanage and to the academy. The two of you taught me something. You helped me find the courage to hold my head high. And find the strength to protect what matters. Because of you, I know how to be brave. I... I don't really get it. But if we were able to help you, I'm happy. Oh! <laughs> Cheer up, okay? We'll see each other again in Gransel. Yes, absolutely. Sklee! <laughs> Maybe we'll get CC there too, right? Sklee! That was a joke. I mean, Gransel's pretty far away. I don't think those wings would hold. Besides, your home is here. Sklee! <laughs> Sieg isn't just any bird, you know. I think he'll be there. I'm sure. <laughs> Sieg's just full of surprises, isn't he? Well then, should we be off? Yeah. Hey. Good luck to both of you on your journey. And I'll be praying for you to find your father. Sklee! <laughs> Thank you. You should take care. Sklee! Yes, I think so too. We'll see them again. Sorry to keep you waiting, Chloe. Miss Julia, you're done with your duties at Layson Fortress. Yes, did longer than I had anticipated. Not my rudeness, but I've come to get your report on the incident. Thank you for your service. Squee! Hey now, settle down, Sieg. Have you been fulfilling your duty as escort? Sieg's your bird. Oh, interesting. Squee! <laughs> He's always been very helpful. Isn't that right, Sieg? Squee! He's certainly a chipper. The RCL is stopped at the end of the highway. You'd have reported in there. Understood. I'll be leaving school for a while. I need to say goodbye to my teachers before returning to Gransel. Estelle, Joshua, I'll take what you taught me and show you that I can be strong. Stronger than even you two. I'll do everything in my power to see to that. Oh, the music is back. What's wrong? Nothing. I just got the feeling that someone was coming. Huh? Is someone in here other than us? Hmm, guess not. Yeah. Sorry, must have imagined it. Oh, I get it. Huh. I think you still got a little crush on Chloe. Huh? What makes you say that? Oh, don't be shy. You know I can read you like a book. It's not unreasonable after all. You did, um, kiss her during the play. What if she asked you to come back? You say yes, right? I guess you didn't notice them. Notice what? Her last scene. That was just for show, you know. It was staged, just so it would look like a real kiss for the audience. What? You really can be completely clueless sometimes. 
It was written right there in the script notes. God, you could tell from the positioning. It's like that his head was back to the audience. You couldn't see any lip to lip action. God, Estelle, you didn't even look yourself. You were the one who could have seen that. Oh, um, <laughs> I see. You not know what a stage kiss is? Note to self, do not insert foot into mouth. Why do I feel so relieved? Um, Estelle, you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. Come on, come on. Size the weights. Nice ways indeed. Well, this is a good time to save, if anything. Now that we're back on the road with just two of us, we know how dangerous that can be with monsters with instant death abilities. The one thing I'm wondering is, did we get any, uh... ...of our gems back? There's an EP2 there, so I'm assuming, yes, we did. Did we get to keep all her gems? That's something I wonder at this point. one there. Just looking to see if there's anything else I want to replace with stuff here. Don't think I've got any more than EP Cup 1. EP 2's on. No, EP 2's not on. Never mind me. Got Haze as well. And if you become aware, unaware of presence, you can use Haze and Scent. Would that just do nothing in the end? Well, let's get moving. It seems we got the stuff, so we might be able to sell it in the future. In that said, so... There's a the monster. And we didn't get the preemptive, but at least it's a starter battle. Alright, it's a big turtle. Uses earth based arts weak against wind. Not that weak, though. Oh. Kinda dodgy, though. Jet Toys is preparing to use the earth guard. So, what happens now? It's invincible for one attack. Interesting moves you've got going there. I mean, it's something we actually have in our arsenal, so it's something we should look into using. Really. Okay, we're getting bigger, Seppi. We're good to go. That was a ten for each, wasn't it? I better finish off my tea before it's truly cold. As we look to level up a bit more, well, it seems like in this. That's the path, but there is an unbeaten path. Oh, weird worm creatures, lovely. Just the one and we start off with extra attack. We can also get more attacks in. Spew sticky fluid to weaken its prey. A lava monster living in the darkness. <laughs> we should be able to beat it no matter what. We even got the heal up. Whoop. Not much in the way of experience, but I wouldn't mind Josh would have reached level 20 fairly soon. But if we go off the unbeaten path, you know that's where the treasure chests lie, right? The question is, is it treasure chest filled with monsters or not? A curia bomb. Plus, I love the music. Tira bomb. Still empty. It is, you know. And what's in this hole? This one's the monster one. Nope, never cheer on. No monsters. Just empty, like your thieving heart. Nope, my fairy on heart is perfectly fine, thank you. He's the thief with a heart. He stole everything from all across the land. Candy from children and more. He's who taught me the true meaning of thief. Oh, no enemies anywhere. Oh, that's a weird looking one. Well, you want to preemptive it because it's a new monster after all. There's a red chest. What are you? Oh, you go faster. Fast and armed with poisonous fins, a monster living in the dank underground. Hopefully, not the Sonic one. I feel like this is a good time to use arts then to make sure it doesn't get to do anything to me. Takes 200 weakness to strike after all. And that'll be that. Indeed. Get out of my way, weird monsters. At least they're lower level-ish. Joshua's getting closer to a level. What's in the box? Oh look, it's- oh, Deplo 2. 
Not monsters. Reduce the switch against chess? That's really sad. Stop mocking me, chess. I hate you. Why you do this? A whole new land for us to explore. Which way are you facing? Okay, that way. It really is that question in games like this. We really need to figure out which side of the monster is the butt and which side of it is the face. That's a very important thing. Remember Sonic Underground? No, I know it exists. I didn't watch it. Or at least I've seen the title. That was the uh, one of the missteps in the Sonic cartoons, isn't it? <laughs> Not to say there haven't been a ton of missteps, right? In the series, though. Sadly, sadly. What was it I was about to do then? I decided I was going to do something. Yes, now I know. Right, Joshua, you're prevented from blind, that's great, but what we really need you to be prevented from is Confuse. It sounded like the text on that guy hinted at Confuse being a status effect that could hit. So let's avoid that completely. And see that we're making it over a bridge here. How long is this tunnel? Yeah, I was about to say, that's your face. I can't attack you then. And we got a rock turtle too. Okay. That's going to set me up in a flicker kind of shot range. Which isn't terribly bad. Hopefully that keeps me still in line. So I can cast the flicker and hit both. With well, the AT delay, we should be able to wipe them out. We also got blind on the first one, so... That's good. Nice strategy. When it works, it works, eh? And another blind. You can level up now, Josh. Let's move out. Good times. Well, time for us to work towards the next level. Oh, there's a black sepid in here. Maybe in time I'll... Oh, hello realize exactly what each sepith means or at least the name of the sepith I mean we're gonna spend a lot of time in the series after all aren't we seven translated games thus far well five with a sixth about to come out with a seventh on the way right can I hit the 80 delay from here Because I think they're relatively lined up no okay hmm <laughs> Do I want to attack this attack? I don't think I can knock him back. Oh, Petroid anyway. That means he'll die. And they only get longer. <laughs> now that's using our heads in terms of positioning our enemies. Don't need to use a rest thing there. Didn't even get hit. The preemptives are ruling supreme. But the cavern itself keeps continuing. Give me your sepith monsters. You know you want me to give it. Give it to me. Alright, we've already dealt with this combo. So if I hit this guy, he still stays in line. I love the fact they come in at that angle. It's beautiful. Alright, one blinded. Josh is even going to get healed in a second. And he even gets to get the CP back on this attack. So we're not spending too much. Things crossed, he says. That's that. Let's move out. Alright, keep fighting, keep defeating him. Rack him up, I'll knock him down. No, I hit him from the side! That was a failure. Hmm. Hush, hush. 
epic fails. Well, you missed. So I'm not too badly off. Let's she's coming. Ooh. Because it has penetrate as well, it means that it... Oh, well, it's, this guy gets to critical. Oh, he's stealing! My health! Why you steal my health? I'm actually not going to be able to kill this guy in one more attack, am I? Damn it! Oh, maybe I am. We're good to go. Can't just take my health like that. What are you doing? You monster. Why is it I'm still missing for my lovely Tholson pasta? It is beast flesh. Where am I going to get all this beast flesh from? Well, I can make a ton of hot fried chicken. Why not? Bit of cooking up. They are paella, we've got one of them, tricolored rice. Only one tiger rockfish did I fish. I need to go visit a fishing place, obviously. Briny delight. Yeah, it's a bit harder to get cooking stuff than you'd think. I mean, we do have literally just... Bong, bong, bong. Use tear. Life will be good, right? But still. Uh, which one's are going... <laughs> The problem is getting turned around. North Limestone Cave, beware of monsters. What level of monsters? Seems like somewhere I should go after the fact. Not yet. After all, my goal really is to hit a main C. ASAP. Because if I do that, I'm good. Alright, let's go with the attack flicker strategy. Essentially, it's to get to that first town. And get the gear that comes with it. That's what I'm really after. Job done there. Flick through them. Strategy, you can defeat any enemy. Pretty much how this works, isn't it? Make sure we take out Mr. Healy Healy first. Oh, that's a job well done. Enemies need to line up, please. Yeah. My enemies don't quite line up like that. Well, I'm getting used to manipulating their positions, aren't I? Obviously, in here is going to be somewhat dangerous. That's your face. Little kind of small Ridley looking fella. Alright, I don't get to go before that thing. Hmm. I do get to go before it if I use my flare arrow again. And with a 10 up. Want to use. No, when you use your arts. Right, this guy's not going to die in time. What's his special abilities again? We use hypnotic bubbles. That sounds like confused to me. Well, didn't get hit no matter what. So we'll take it out. Alright, we're good to go. So we're getting a lot of experience, however. Tira bomb. I should leave that pathway. Make it to the next town. That is the first order of business. Buy defensive gear. Buy weaponry. Go back. Explore. That's the order, right? Hmm. Critical is still. I think I should just go straight for this guy. Hmm. Will I get the attack in here? Let's use another flare arrow and nuke that guy to oblivion. What was the exclamation point on the map? I didn't see one. I didn't see one. That's enough. That's that. Let's move out. Maybe I'll see it in a second. 
Exclamation point. There, man. What are you talking about? Do you just mean the sign? I'm confused now. Getting released, but. This will be the perfect lineup yet again, so we've got this strategy down to a T at the moment. Ah, so I see you wish to uh, get a critical. No, I have news for you, Jack. You don't know where it at. Got all the turns in the world first. Experience is coming in. It's a bit slow. It's a bit of a drip drop. Let's go off the beaten path once more. Is this off the beaten path or is this the beaten path? I'm confused now. Still got kind of like path. It might just be rockery. I think you know exactly how this attack's gonna go. Uh, mm, uh, uh, mm. Can I still attack you and get this in line? I think no matter what, you're in line. You're not supposed to miss there, kiddo. Ah. Aha. The darkness will help quite nicely. Petrifaction, that's all good. Alright, you got ten times attack of not being able to hit me. That's not how that was supposed to play out. This plays out a nice way though. I get to get healed from the thing and get a heal on Joshua to top him up. And easily finish off our enemy. Stop missing, man! Alright, we're good to go. Ah oh, wow, Sepith. Sons of the stuff. When is a monster gonna jump out of one of these chests? They do jump out of brown chests too, we know that. No, not this time. Makes me all worried for. No celestial bomb. Aha! You again! Yes, it is. What are you gonna do about it? Back on the bath. Right. Oh, there's two different monsters here. That one's the back to it. Now, do it as we rehearsed. You know how to rehearse stuff. We've been in a play together. Oh, actually, will that end up not in line now? Oops. Nope, still. I even taken one out. Still, at this point, it's just mopping up CP. You never know, we might make another level by the time we get out of here. Go away, sucky sucky. I've got to get you in the butt. Now, one of those fish. I know my target. There's a variation of attacks as well, really, then. Sephiroth Strike! I'm glad that Flare Arrow is a fast cast, and it does that much damage. They are sucky sucky monsters, they still have HP! We're good to go. I've got the green I need. I can make it never impede now. <sighs> I've got to hurry! Huh? Someone's coming this way. You are very over-designed. Oh! Good afternoon. Where's the fire? G good afternoon. Um, are you taking this road too? Well, yeah. Have you seen any lights that weren't working? The lights along the tunnel wall, I mean. Uh, sorry. If there are, I haven't noticed any. All the lights we passed were still on, but we did pass one that was flickering. There's two rivers between it and here. That's it. it it's just like I thought. Sorry, I have to hurry. I wonder if she swims ice. Strange little kid. She seemed awfully flustered. Uh, now I'm kind of worried. Hey, you want to try following her? You read my mind. I don't like the idea of a little girl wandering around here by herself. We should catch up to her and stick close. 
Okay, come on, let's hurry. No, oh, well, we just came forward, but now we're going back again. And this is why you defeat every enemy along the path, right? This is why you do what you do. Hopefully you didn't go that way. So now they respawn, of course. Damn it. Damn it! Right, two rivers back? That's quite a lot of rivers back when you. That's a lot way back! Ah. I can't believe there are so many of them. It's gonna break at this rate. Maybe this. Bearing set, angle of elevation 20 degrees. Or will compression at 30%. Go! That's not how you work it! If you come any closer, though, I won't miss next time. They're not gonna understand that. I mean it! You need to hit the light. Oops, I think that might have made them angrier. Ah! Yeah! Huh? Hey, I remember you! We can talk later. Get back! We've got to get rid of these things first. She is actually with us, but she seems to be an incredibly low level. Okay. What's the crash? Smoke cannon. Hits enemies with smoke screen. Blinding them. Area M. Attack. Good. A wild fusel out of rounds fired at enemy. Area M. For s -craft 2. Above than that, stats wise, she basically has the stone attack. Which could work out well, depending. Or she can actually attack from where she is, I imagine. And all her attacks do an area attack. Oh, did I want to make her go that far forward? Maybe not. What am I about? I'm gonna get gummy juice. Oh, I got gummy juice! Well, Stell's gonna be on a critical. So keeping that in mind, we can take two out right away. Gummy juice. How dare you. I will not accept this. Knock him away. Further from the girl. Ah, uh, that we won. Stop choosing me! Oh, she healed. Actually, keep choosing me! I just remember that if you attack, that's worse. Problem. Wow, only level 18? Only 400 HP? Last cannon, literally, yeah. Oh, look at that green. Th that was scary. Um, thank you very much. I thought it was a goner for sure. She's powerful, though. <laughs> well, the important thing is that you're safe. You really should be more careful. Swing at monsters is a surefire way to get yourself eaten. But... If I'd left them alone, they probably would have broken that light. Speaking of which, why would those things go after the lights anyway? And they do the same thing when the highway lights are switched out? The septium in those circuits is the monster's favourite food. The highway lights work to keep monsters away. And when they stop working, they have the exact opposite effect. Ah, I get it. So you shouldn't mess with stuff like that. Septium might be their favourite food, but little girls probably rank a close second. Oh, sorry. Go easy there. Giving her nightmares and saying don't do that isn't exactly going to score you any points. Why don't be such a wet blanket? Anyway, my name's Estelle. And I'm Joshua. We're braces affiliated with the guild. Oh, so that's why you're so tough. I'm Tita. I work as an apprentice at the Central Factory. That's pretty impressive. Well then, Tita. We're heading to Zeiss, so do you want to join us the rest of the way? That's right. You don't want to be around here if the monster shows up again. But really? Thank you. Do you mind waiting for a little bit? I've got to get our light fixed. Yeah, it's probably risky to leave it like that. How in the world did you know it burned out, though? Well, it, I was lucky enough to notice the problem when I was looking in the computer database. It seems like a defective unit was installed here by mistake. Ah, alright. It's a good thing you caught it when you did. Computer? Database? Hmm. Okay, that should do it. Sorry it took so long. Wow, colour me impressed. Well, if she's an apprentice at the central factory, she has to be good. Haha. <laughs> well, I didn't do anything special. I just fixed the course connection and adjusted the orbital pressure. Well, it sure sounds special. It's not that big of a deal. Um, okay, how to explain this? 
Each ornament is a quartz circuit inside, and if that isn't properly connected, the orbital energy inside the unit will have nowhere to go. As a result, the ornament won't be able to function properly. This happens sometimes with the highway lights, which means their ability to give out light and ward off monsters are compromised, so stop! M maybe you should save the explanation for after we get on the road. I mean, if we stand around too long, the monsters, you know... Yeah, I guess so. I was just warming up too. Phew. <laughs> well, why don't we set out for Zeiss then? Okay. Yes, sir. What? Stop. Information hurts your brain. Well, we have ourselves a new party member. A bit low on the HP side. Sure. Let's check. Oh, sealed ornaments too. Mainly on the physical side of things for the time being. Equipment wise, is there anything better we can give her? She's got a shield vest. It is better than anything we have. Double spikes is better than anything we have. A P03, a low recall orbital cannon made by the Zeiss Central Factory. Interestingly enough, you see not just range, but you see area. So different cannons will have different areas to them. That's an interesting thought. All right, apart from that, we need to stop bad things happening to us. So, I guess preventing blind is good for you. Red sleep as well might not be a bad idea. We've got the two, well, I guess her getting confused would be terrible about, but Tina Russell has joined the group. Interestingly enough now, because of her level, that means everything I'm everything I face around here will give her a mass amounts of experience. So isn't that a bit problematic for me? Also, here's a question. Does her attacks hit my teammates? Is there friendly fire? It didn't look like there was according to that. So we'll go with it. She does get pretty close to launch a cannon though. I was about to say, can I move and let her go next? <laughs> launch a cannon again! Seems it doesn't work as well on more heavily armored enemies. Don't drop the cannon! You never know when you might need to fight some more. Yeah, she's getting 34 experience for a game. That's double. Ah! Right, let's, uh... That is a preemptive, right? That's a normal! I'm kidding. I messed that up a little bit. The craft, though. Does she have to get closer to do it? Let's try smoke cannon. Prepare to meet your doom! <laughs> Prepare to meet your doom! Well, the one that wanted to get blinded resist the blind. But she can launch that from anywhere, so that's a pretty good talent, really. Can't complain about it, that's for sure. Hey, you heal up a still. Oh, oh, using your earth guard again. You stole my HP heal, too. Using your earth guard on that guy. Interesting tactic. I've been speed downed again on Estelle. You really like juicing Estelle, don't you? What's your problem, man? I mean, I'd like to just finish this guy off and then heal her outside of battle. Fine, especially if they don't attack you like that. Da -da 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 -da. Right, items. Let us use another hmm, half fried chicken. I don't know. Something that teaches me the recipe would be better. You have some extra CP there. Rainbow jelly beans has been learned. Anything that just does HP at this point? Vegetable sandwich? Why not? Still got loads of drilled meatballs left. Oh, um, no, 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 no. I learned a recipe, it's fine. Just makes me slightly despair itself. Slightly. I'm right next to the thing. And I couldn't just wait two seconds patiently. No, no, no. Oh, okay. This is another thing to think about. I didn't check it before. What's the knockback like on this thing? 
Is there any? Well, we petrify as well. I knew that was going to do critical, critical damage. So we'll be able to wipe these out with just normal attacks at this point. Excuse me. Salad sandwich. Yes. There's been a lot of vegetable sandwiches going around the place. Let's get you to level 19. You kind of need it. By going the way we've been before, and beating up every turtle in our path yet again. We've got Carnelia to read after all. Alright, I'm guessing I should attack that one because he can't be knocked back. Because he's stuck in that area. Then I can hit both. Which definitely doesn't do friendly fire by the look of it. Oh, it's still both alive? I guess in that sense. If I slash that guy, you should go down. And no matter what, I've got the backup of the shop. It's nice to have three party members when we're going into a new area too. Alright, not long for her next level. In fact, it's not actually long for Estelle's next level. This is the time I end up grinding, yeah. <laughs> I've learnt my lessons from things in the past. Let's put it that way. Was that preemptive? I think it is, yeah. I love how hard she hits. It's interesting how you're our primary arts person now as well as still. Ooh. Easy. The main thing I also want to do here is farm some Sephbiff by fighting these guys because now you've realized that this girl has two slots to reveal. So those greens that I think that I've now got and able to get myself an impede, of course they don't exist because they've got to open the slots to make this character more powerful. Maybe I need an HP 2 on her, I don't know. So when you look at it that way, things are a bit more dangerous. Maybe I should knock her back like that. Well, we've got an attack up here. So I don't really have the supplies that I think I've got, do I? Let's make sure you're gone. I imagine no matter what, that turtle's first move will be Earth Guard. So that even if I don't get the kill, which I won't do, I don't think, it will use Earth Guard. It will have one turn off. No matter what, I imagine I might be able to get that Seppi from the hit. And if it's not attacking me, then go ahead, you know? Do I still get CP from a guarded attack? No. Only CP from actual damage. Yeah. All good. All right, we're nearly back where we were. Oh no, it turned around. Which means this thing gets to attack. I'll attack her? Why are you doing this? We know we want an art on that guy. So hopefully this one last... Oh, what? I didn't die. Oh, it's going to suck me back up again, isn't it? That sucks. I thought we got preemptive. Let's just HP back. What? Getting all that HP. Kidding me? That's that. Take my HP from me. Well, Estelle leveled up, so that's great. Did no, she didn't. Titan didn't. Well, Estelle's more powerful, so I'll take that. It also gave her more EP, so nice, good on that sense. Uh, cast a tear on your, because you're not using anything at the moment. Ah, <sighs> well. We're grinding in here a little bit. We're continuing onwards, sure. But I think maybe we'll break up this little bit with a little bit of light reading. And when I say light reading, it's not light reading at all, is it? 
Carnelia chapter 6. Sit back, relax. Are you ready for another 13 pages? Another chapter? Let's get through it. I thought we'd be outside this game by now. I stay in the inner workings. My augment, emptied bag, and package wrapped in old magazine paper was laid out neatly on the table in front of me. The person sitting opposite me gazed alternately at my face and the items on the table as if trying to gauge my reaction to them, constantly rubbing his chin between his fingers. It appeared to me as though he would make an effort to display his right hand snugly fit within a leather gauntlet. I had been led to the second floor of the lodge by the two men, and then after they had painstakingly checked the layout of the floor, I was taken to the father's room from the stairs. It occurred to me that the reason for the use of the makeshift space was due to there being no guild branch nearby. The first man to sit in front of me was the lanky one. He told me his name, but I soon forgot which one was Clayton and which one was Pavel. By the time I had finished being frisked, the bracer wearing the gauntlets, Clayton or Pavel, whoever it was, returned and whispered something in his partner's ear. It seemed as though they were trying to locate Sister Carnelia, but having no luck. And as much probing on the subject of her and the Jaeger corpse, after relating everything I had heard from her on the train. I turned the conversation around, and playing the role of the victim inquired into her past history. Though, strictly speaking, I guess, I was in fact a victim. Her name is Selnat. I am Selnat. Read aloud the lanky bracer from a pocketbook he held just below eye level. Originally a constituent member of a Jaeger corpse, her present affiliation activities are unknown. In short, adding his partner pompously, she's not the type of person any upstanding citizen should be getting involved with. He reached out his gauntlet-clad hand and picked up the object bundled in scrap paper. Checking my reaction all the while, he unwrapped the paper, laying it out flat in the centre of the table. Its contents turned out to be a lump of metal ingrained with a sort of clay-like substance. I blurted out, I was on my way to Research Institute with the item when everything happened, and then threw in the address of some non-existent client for good measure. The racers took notes, making sure not to leave out any of the details of our conversation, and to dispel any lingering suspicions, I agreed to stay with them under their watchful eyes for the night. Next day I also found myself inclined to go along with them to the nearest guild branch in order to file a report about the events that happened back at the station, but I had no qualms over the matter. My greatest concern at the moment, after all, was not running into any more trouble. I woke as the sun came up over the horizon and day broke. With the advent of a peaceful morning, I sat up in bed and breathed a sigh of relief. The braces who stood guard the previous night were no longer present in the room, and the sound of their voices could be heard echoing out in the hallway, uh, beyond the closed door. Sit my arms through the sleeves of my jacket, I felt a sharp pain in my right elbow which brought back vivid memories of the woman from the day before. Suddenly, a feeling of uneasiness came over me and still half undressed, I began adjusting my augment. After opening its back cover, I used a thin piece of tanned doe skin and started plucking out the course installed in each slot. It didn't take but five minutes to insert them each into different slots and rearrange their configuration with a set of light magic as my base. One by one, I replaced each screw until finally the metallic panel was back in place. As a feeling of calmness set in, I rolled back over in my bed. It was at that time that a tall woman appearing to be a maid opened the door carrying a basin of hot water for the sink, which guests could shave and wash their faces. After placing the small steaming tub on the table, the woman went quietly about her daily task of removing the bed linen. Finding myself shooed from my own bed, I reluctantly headed toward the basin when just beyond the door, open door, I caught sight of two shadows cutting across the hallway in succession. They're here, I heard myself mutter as the low tone of my suppressed voice reached my ears. With only a bar of soap in hand, I remained unbelievably calm as I quickly shut and bolted the door. Then pondering my next move, I stood still, my back pressed up against the wall. On the other side of the hardened clay wall, the brief clamour of fighting ensued. Thumbing with the chain attached to my hip pocket, I grabbed hold of the augment I had adjusted just barely moments before. It was two braces versus the two others I'd seen moments ago. Throwing myself into the mix with the two men from the guild would definitely put us at an advantage from a number standpoint. However, when I turned again to face the door, the voice of self-doubt came percolating from my closed lips in the form of a distant mother. There were only two of them, I remembered to myself. If Sister Carnelius were to be believed, then one unit consisted of three people, not two. Again, I questioned myself inwardly. Then where's the third? The hair on the back of my neck stood on end as I realised my plight. Something swung down over the top of my head, catching me around the neck, and the next instant I was flung to the ground. From the corner of my blurred and spotty vision came the inexplicable view of a woman with demonic bloodshot eyes standing over me, trying to wrench the very life out of me with every twist of the sheet she had wrapped tightly around my throat. Clashing my almond in hand, I activated it and fired off a burst of magic while lying half asphyxiated on the wooden planks of the room floor. A destructive vortex of compressed air sliced deeply into my hip, but at the same time caused the woman to double over before forcibly blowing her to another part of the room. Shreds of whirling linen flecked and sprayed with fresh blood blasted out through a gaping hole in the wall where a closed window once stood, leaving nothing behind but shards of broken glass and a frame rent beyond all repair. Ooh. It's getting real now. It's getting real. This guy's having a lot of adventure, that's for sure. Oh, we haven't killed this door yet.
can't let turtles live. Don't be silly. These poor turtles. Being beaten senseless by us. We got a critical. We know who we're targeting. That was an action for this chapter. A fight with augments. The fact that he seemed to use his spell while on the ground, slicing himself to kill the person who was trying to kill him. That's that. Chapter 6 of Carnelia That's is red. red. Are you going to level up now? One more battle. In fact, Joshua is one battle away. Well, two battles. Three battles? Five battles? Seven battles? A lot of battles? Let's get out of here. This is where we were at, after all. East Zeiss! West Air Letton. 448 Selg. Get on our way. Oh! The tunnel ends here. So does that mean this is the entrance to the ice? That's right. It leads right into the basement of the Central Factory. I'm excited to see it! The Central Factory is the pride and joy of Zeiss since it's an industrial city. I don't know it was big, but that's about all I really know. Well, yeah, it's really huge. Anyone who's not used to the layout could get lost in a hurry. Oh, that's a creepy thought. I'm beginning to worry whether or not we'll really be able to make it to the guild. The way out to the city is up on the first floor. I'll show you how to get there. Thanks! Well, let's go in. Oh, we'll talk to this guy first. Okay, that makes it cans. Check and double check. Let's check it on the factory. So they're cans. They're definitely not barrels. That's what we've learned from my adventure. Hey, look, it's a one-eyed lime. Zeiss Central Factory has been reached. Lift, elevator, right, basement, orbital, open workshop. Ooh. That sounds more interesting. Whoa, what's this place? Wow, it looks like almost the entire factory is completely automated. <laughs> Below the city, there are lots of augment factories. They make everything from lights to airship parts. That's awesome. A little overwhelming, but awesome. Oh, there's only an emergency staircase through that door. If you want to go to the ground floor, just go back the way you came straight up down the hall. Well, I've got to check out things, haven't I? My spear of exploration. Yep, door's locked. No one can tell me what's we'll beyond on that one. Classified. <sighs> I wonder what he's doing right now. Okay, enough of that. Get your head in the job, girl. Uh, where am I going, then? Nothing else down here by the look of it. Nothing hidden away. Can't find myself a mysterious chef around the place to teach me some more cooking stuff. I go down that hatch. <laughs> okay, what's this room? This is the elevator. It can take us from the basement to the roof. Huh. Can't say I've ever seen one of these outside of the mines. And this one seems super high tech. Technically, we just saw one in the mayor's house. Or the ex-mayor. <laughs> well, this is Zeiss. And since this is the central factory, I'm sure they have quite a few of these. They have more than one. Haha, <laughs> it's the latest model too. Maximum weight capacity, 50 Torum. You can handle even heavy industrial equipment with no problem. I don't entirely get it, but it sure sounds impressive. So how do we get it to move? Oh, you just pick which floor you want on that panel. Let's see, you want to go into the city, right? Yes, can you take us up to the first floor? Okay. Whoa! What's interesting is the entrance to this side is actually connected to the central factory anyway. You'd think they'd want to keep down the lock and key and away from people visiting or passing through, but no. It's just enterable. Whoa, check out the size of this place! This is the central factory's main floor. It's where the reception desk and consumer maintenance windows are. I see, so we can get out to town from here. Oh, Tita! Miss Hazel? There you are. Supervisor Travis has been looking for you. He'd like for you to go straight to the operations room. Okay, I will. Uh-oh, sounds urgent. Thank you for showing us around. It's no big deal. It's least I can do after you beat up those monsters for me. Well, we're planning to be in Zeiss for a little while. Would you mind if we stop by to see you again? I... I love that. But bye then. Bye. <laughs> what a sweet kid. I get the impression that she's a lot tougher than she looks. I agree. Uh, I was one of the sweet, lovable little sister like her. Instead of, might I add, an obnoxious little brother. Keep saying things like that. You're the one who's always following me around. If you want to be more like a real old sister, you need to get your head out of the clouds every now and then. 
Look who's talking. Anyway, all sibling rivalries aside, when I head into the city, yeah, first I'd like to switch assignments to the guild. Plus, we can see if there's any new information on the Orban or Dad. Sounds like a plan. It's more about getting new equipment, isn't it? Welcome to the Zai Central Factory. If you have any questions, please let me know. Except I'm come here and you don't give me any questions at all. So this is the Orban place? I'm going to maintenance. This may seem like just a service window, but we're a full part of the factory's Orban division, as fully equipped as any shop. Please feel free to make full use of our facilities. What can you make? Hmm, HP free is now available, but needs 800 blue sapphire. Flippin' hell. Attack 2 is available. But I think we've already got that, haven't we? Seals enemy craft, confuse enemy. I mean, confuse could be a nice strategy to just have on some people. We can make the MP2 that I wanted, sure. We can even make an invade free if we want to go to 800 again. What's the confuse? Free? Confuse enemy 10% success? Or sleep? Alright, it looks in terms of... Oh, there's EP3 as well. That's quite a lot to make that. But you get a lot of elements from it. That's an extra four gem element thingy, the bobbies. They even hit freeze there. But basically, it really does kind of cut you out of making the really good stuff, doesn't it? Let's get an MP3. That's what we wanted so long. Now we've got two lots of MP. That could work out quite nice for us. There's no slots to improve after all. Because she's gone. Who knows if she'll actually be back with us or stick with us. I mean, obviously at some point. But she might be somewhere along the lines of a gap. Wandering around the place. Sometimes join, sometimes not. We don't really have other party members in that sense, do we? 